This LOS is to describe the differences between accounting profit and taxable income and define key terms including deferred tax assets, deferred tax liabilities, valuation allowance, taxes payable, and income tax expense. So we'll start with an introduction to this LOS. For those companies reporting under International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, IAS 12, International Accounting Standard 12, covers the accounting for a company's income taxes and the reporting of deferred taxes. For those companies reporting under United States Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, US GAAP, SFAS number 1091 is the primary source for information on accounting for income taxes. Although IFRS and US GAAP follow similar conventions on many income tax issues, there are some key differences that will be discussed in uh, throughout this reading and the and a number of these LOSs. Differences between how and when transactions are recognized for financial rep reporting purposes relative to tax reporting can give rise to differences in tax expenses and related tax assets and liabilities. To reconcile these differences, companies that report under either IFRS or US GAAP create a provision on the balance sheet called deferred tax assets or deferred tax liabilities depending on the nature of the situation. Deferred tax assets or liabilities usually arise when accounting standards and tax authorities recognize the timing of revenues and expenses at different times. Because timing differences such as these will eventually reverse over time, they are called temporary differences. Deferred tax assets represent taxes that have been recognized for tax reporting purposes or often the carrying forward of losses from peri previous periods but have not yet been recognized on the income statement prepared for financial reporting purposes. Deferred tax liabilities represent tax expense that has appeared on the income statement for financial reporting purposes but has not yet become payable under tax regulations. Differences between accounting profit and taxable income. A company's accounting profit is reported on its income statement in accordance with prevailing accounting standards. Accounting profit, also referred to as income before taxes or pre-tax income, does not include a provision for income tax expense. A company's taxable income is the portion of its income that is subject to income taxes under the tax laws of its jurisdiction. Because of different guidelines for how income is reported on a company's financial statements and how is measured for income tax purposes, accounting profit and taxable income may differ. A company's taxable income is the basis for its income tax payable, a liability, or recoverable, an asset, which is calculated on the basis of the company's tax rate and appears on its balance sheet. A company's tax expense, or benefit in the case of a recovery, appears on its income statement and is an aggregate of its income tax payable, or recoverable in the case of a tax benefit, and any changes in deferred tax assets and liabilities. Don't worry, we'll go through an example with some numbers and, you'll, and this will become more clear on the difference between taxable income and tax expense. A quick practice question to check our understanding. Assume US GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, applies unless otherwise noted. Which of the following best describes taxes payable? A, total liability for current and future taxes. B, tax return liability resulting from current period taxable income. Or C, actual cash outflow for income taxes, including payments, refunds for other years. Okay, the correct answer is B. Taxes payable is the current liability resulting from the current period taxable income based on the company's tax rate and the portion of its income that is subject to income taxes under the tax laws of the jurisdiction. So the correct answer is B. Which of the following best describes taxes payable? Tax return liability resulting from current period taxable income. Another practice question to check our understanding. In early 2009, Sanborn Company must pay the tax authority 37,000 euros on the income it earned in 2008. 
The amount was recorded on the company's 31st December 2008 statement as A, taxes payable, B, income tax expense, or C, a deferred tax liability. The correct answer is A, the taxes a company must pay in the immediate future are taxes payable. So the company must pay the tax authority 37,000 euros on the income it earned. That is the tax payable. Continuing with differences between accounting profit and taxable income, when a company's taxable income is greater than its accounting profit, then its income tax is payable will be higher than what would have otherwise been the case had the income taxes been determined based on accounting profit. Deferred tax assets, which appear on the balance sheet, arise when an excess amount is paid for income taxes, taxable income higher than accounting profit, and the company expects to recover the difference during the course of future operations. Actual income taxes payable will thus exceed the financial accounting income tax expense, which is reported on the income statement as, and is determined based on accounting profit. Related to deferred tax assets is a valuation allowance, which is a reverse created against deferred tax assets. The valuation allowance is based on the likelihood of realizing the deferred tax assets in future accounting periods. Deferred tax liabilities, which also appear on the balance sheet, arise when a deficit amount is paid for income taxes and the company expects to eliminate the deficit over the course of future operations. In this case, financial accounting income tax expense exceeds income tax payable. And we're on the final slide for this LOS. The tax base of an asset or liability is the amount at which the asset or liability is valued for tax purposes, whereas the carrying amount is the amount at which the asset or liability is valued according to accounting principles. Differences between the tax base and the carrying amount also result in differences between accounting profit and taxable income. These differences can carry through to future periods. For example, a tax loss carry forward occurs when a company experiences a loss in the current period that may be used to reduce future taxable income. The company's tax expense on its income statement must not only reflect the taxable pay taxes payable based on the taxable income, but also the effect of these differences. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.